Bike ride completed two hours on the dust in the wind course in Zwift, which was 34.81 miles for a total of 1,952 feet of climbing. Welcome to episode 11. Happy Friday. One hour, 15 minutes, exactly nine miles <laughs> at an eight minute, 20 second per mile pace. That officially wraps up week seven of Ironman prep training. The week is complete Saturday morning. So let's go over the numbers for this week. We did two and a half hours of running for 17.65 miles, a little over an hour and a half of weight training, three hours and 15 minutes of biking for a perfect 56.0 miles. That is a beautiful number to be that exact. And lastly, an hour and a half of swimming for 4,250 yards, which is about 2.4 miles for a total of eight hours and 50 minutes of training this week. Good solid week, build phase two. First week is complete. I'll see you on Monday morning. Five minutes of weights this morning and 2,375 yards. I think it was actually 2,400 yards. We're off by 25, whatever. I had to adjust this morning because I went to my hometown YMCA to swim and the pool was closed for maintenance. So I had to drive all the way up towards where I work. There's a Y close by. I had to think on my toes and perfectly enough timing where I could get here, get my workout done, and get to work on time. It was also nice I got to swim uh, with a good friend from college, Ian, uh, who has a swimming background, so dude was flying in the pool. <laughs> but other than that, it was a very good workout. Feel strong, ready to start my day, and, and get the week going. So happy Monday. Get your work in. Twenty-two miles an hour, eighteen minutes on the Castle to Castle in McCurry Islands on Swift. If 
you feel as if your life is a bit of a mess, it might simply be because your fears are a little stronger than your faith. All these trials that you've been through have been perfect preparation to make you into the person you now are. Society sells us a series of mistruths that keep us weak, soft, and complacent. And complacency paired with an easy life of no trials is a hundred times more brutal than a life with some discomfort that allows you to be authentic and become your best self. It's popular nowadays to move through life with little to no effort and when the road gets tough to think you're on the wrong path, but a fulfilled life usually begins where your comfort zone ends. All these so-called psychopaths that get up before the sun to run, lift, read, do devotionals, don't do so just to look tough or feel tough, but rather we seek out this discomfort on purpose to understand who we truly are in those circumstances and let it shape us into the versions we'd like to become. Take this quote with you from Robin Sharma, author of the 5 a.m. Club. He stated, the place where your greatest discomfort lies could also be the spot where your largest opportunity lives. Point one five miles an hour 15 minutes at an 8 minute 14 second per mile pace Morning. Did a little over 45 minutes weightlifting, squats, biceps, pull-ups, some abs. Uh, if you can't tell, I am extremely fatigued. I'm tired this morning. Did 45 minutes of swimming as well. Holy moly, the pool was like a bathtub. Not only am I sleepy, exhausted, basically hop in a bath to swim for 45 minutes. I mean, I felt like I was falling asleep. My eyes, I would close my eyes longer than normal, going back and forth doing laps, but did 1900, 1950? Can't remember. Yards of swimming, uh, but I was glad because it was all in zone two, uh, heart rate. There's a rule 180 minus your age should be the max heart rate. So with how fatigued I was, I said, you know what, let's do slow, moderate zone two swimming. So I was proud that I stuck with that until the end. You can see that I, I did a few little sprints just to get in some extra power. And that's it for episode 11, second week, halfway through build phase two when I finish this week. So I can definitely feel change, the extra amount of effort that the second build phase requires. But that is it for this video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for making it this far. Thank you for the support as always. I will see you in the next one.